Hello again everyone. I've come out to have a quick go over of the van and do some basic servicing before we go away over the bank holiday weekend. And one of the things I want to do is to check the gearbox oil level. Now, I've not really had any problems with uh, the gearbox, touch wood, uh, but it would be nice to make sure that we have the right amount of oil in there. I do intend changing the oil uh, fairly shortly, but I haven't got any to do that at the moment. I just want to check the level, really. Now, I've been reading around about uh, the various different issues with the gearboxes in these vans. And if you've come across this video because you're looking to uh, check your own gearbox level in one of these vans, I highly recommend you have a read through the gearbox information on the JK Towers website. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. I've just gathered what I'm going to tell you from various sources, Facebook posts and uh, forum posts and such like. So. I'm really no expert on this. I do, however, recommend if you have one of these vans that you join the Talbot Owners Club forum because there is a lot of very useful information out there. So anyway, what have I managed to glean from reading around? Well, it seems like there was a recommendation after these vans were put out to increase the level of oil in the gearbox. I think the original recommendation was something like 1.25 litres of oil in the gearbox, and that's up to 1.9 litres. Something to do with uh, the fifth gear being starved of oil under certain circumstances at the lower level. I think from what I'm gathering, these gearboxes were originally four-speed gearboxes and were modified to be five-speed gearboxes later. So that's the key thing I really want to check. Now, I don't know how I'm going to check that without draining all the oil out and measuring how much there was and then refilling it, obviously, with 1.9 litres of new oil. And that's definitely a job I intend doing very shortly. But I do want to check that we've got something like the right amount in at the moment while I'm doing the rest of the servicing I'm going to be doing. And there's a bit of confusing information about the dipstick mark on the gearbox. The gearboxes on these do have their own dipstick. And some people are saying that your oil level has to be 20 millimetres above the mark on the dipstick. There's a little bit of information around saying that the oil level should be 20 millimetres below the top of the dipstick, but I, I'm not sure about that. That seems like a misunderstanding of the previous 1.2 litre marking on the dipstick and 1.9 litres being 20 millimetres above that. Who knows? I think probably if I take the dipstick out and the oil is 20 millimetres above the mark on the dipstick, I'll be confident. If I take the dipstick out and the oil level is on the mark, I don't know how I'll know if that is the right level and the dipstick has been recalibrated or is a, a, a dipstick that was produced after this uh, increase in recommendation or if it's the old 1.2 level and someone has filled it to that level. Who knows? Anyway, let's get into it and see what we find actually before i do that we've got some more stickers to show you on the back door here we've got uh camper van gaz a, a fantastic channel and also crafty caravanners another fantastic channel i'll put a link to them in the description below you may have uh, noticed that uh, my one man and his whippet sticker has uh, gone Unfortunately, Dave, the uh, top peeled off that and it fell off. It was the uh, the first sticker we had on there, so it has taken a lot more weather than any of the others. But uh, if you send me another one, Dave, I'll stick it back on. 
And I've also added my uh, Talba Owners Club stickers to the front and back. The front one's all right, but uh, I made a bit of a mess of the back one. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I was putting it on a curved surface or whether it's because the ladder slipped a bit when I was doing it and I uh, managed to get a load of wrinkles in it. That's a bit embarrassing really. I might have to uh, get another one of those and do that again. Uh, let's see if I can make less of a mess of uh, checking this gearbox oil. Now, obviously it's going to be better to do this before I put the front of the van up on ramps to change the engine oil. So I believe the first thing to do is to take out the spare wheel and the spare wheel bracket and then I'm led to believe we should be able to get access to the dipstick. Well, I've got to be honest with you, I can't see it uh, that easily. I'm a bit reluctant to go ahead and take this bracket out unless I can see what I'm actually heading for although it is only a couple of bolts I'm gonna go and get a torch right okay we're going in now under here I think that that I'm shining light on there with the two wires coming out that is the reverse light switch sensor and that's where it's recommended to fill the gearbox up with oil and moving back i don't know if you can see or if it will even focus on it somewhere down there hold on a second yeah, right down there, look, you can see the with the little loop on the top of it, the dipstick for the gearbox. So I've got to try and get myself down there to dip the gearbox. So you can see here the marks on the dipstick, but are these the revised correct levels or not? Now I've double checked on the JK Towers website and this dipstick is in fact correctly marked. The upper marking is 35 millimeters down from the top and the lower marking is 40 millimeters and that is the correct dipstick dimensions to give you that 1.9 litre capacity and this oil looks in pretty good condition to me so perhaps it wasn't changed long before I bought the van. Well that's all for now if you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.